feels amazing. It's just like a warm hug, isn't it? This is Kate, Tim and Joel. We're an old-fashioned threesome. Yeah! Two guys and a girl. Boom. Yes. Radio. Sit back and enjoy the ride. <laughs> TGIM. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, we are. We haven't been hanging out with friends on a Monday for ages. I know. Oh, All is treat. right in the world. Yeah, TGIM. Let's run through it. I mean, the TGI merch pack. Oh. Stunning. Oh, you got to run through the actual pack. Yeah, we've got a bottle opener and a keychain. Well, a bottle opener and a keychain, which I reckon is the most loser-ish it's, item in I it. Because so. It's a bit flimsy. It's too flimsy oh. for a, hu- I'll have a, hu- a big, chunky bottle well, opener. I don't mind the bottle opener. I've got mine on my fridge. Why? No, it's not that one then. Oh, different one. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. This one. Magnet. Uh, I've got the magnet. Yeah, no, this is the bottle opener keychain. Oh, so that's what I thought is weird to have on your fridge. (laughs) (laughs) Put a lock on your fridge. Uh, You got the tote bag, portable phone charger, pair of socks. They're very cool. I love the socks. I'd love some more socks. Terry Mm. Towling bucket hat. Everyone wants the socks. I've got a. I've got a. Have the socks arrived here yet in Melbourne? Oh no, I don't have socks. The socks are great. People are mad for the socks. I don't have socks. I don't know if you noticed, I wore the socks on stage on Friday night. You did not. Mm-hmm. How would I have noticed? Oh. I was so far back. Oh, no, you weren't. You had the best seats in the house. <laughs> I couldn't see your feet. I was just too busy looking at that amazing shirt and oh. and having lols. It was so good, Joel. Oh, Thank I you know. so much Thanks. for having us all there. I know. Pleasure. It was fantastic. And I love being Thanks, on the mate. aisle. I love being on the aisle. I, I took your advice and just went to the bar once mid-show, yeah. which is a pretty good track oh, record for me. Is that why you were on the aisle? I thought it was so they could get you out of there when you started heckling. Even in the cinema, I hate being not on the aisle at the movies. I have to be on the aisle just in case. Well, most oh. comics like to close the bar while they're on stage because they want the attention on them. I'm like, no, let no. people run out to the bar. They're only going to be gone a few minutes. Yeah, yeah. I was gone for a few minutes. Yeah. yeah and 20 it's... minutes, 30 minutes. No, no, <laughs> a few minutes. Maybe just an hour. It was nice to see you in your natural habitat, Joel. Oh, it thank you. It was wonderful. And that's the end of the tour, so there'll be no more promoting of it. Don't worry. Well, We're I done. Just, I would Something still else, suggest really? go to joelcreasy.com.au just for, just for why not, for all time's sake. Hey, I, I wear a Camilla on the homepage. Coming up next, it's Kate's favourite area. A kid in the penises. Kate, Tim and Joel. Just looking at my sheet for 10k a day in May. It's really good. It's one of my favourite sheets because over 200,000 bucks were given away this month. No way. And the first 10k is in just under an hour. First Uh, 10k under an hour away. I'm so excited. God, you've got it down pat now. Down pat. Took Mm -hmm. me a while. (laughs) <laughs> like Friday, yeah. Friday I was all first class of 50k. Ooh, you got so excited and I you was. really blew your mind. Yeah. Mm, 10k a day in May. Hmm? I know, year two. We just love it. We're mad. For I know. We we'll, we love it. And I love May. I'm on record. May is a fun month because you can start, you know, getting your winter coats out and, yeah. and, and getting real stylish. And also, you're about four weeks away from Virgin. <laughs> True. Oh, I know. Four, only year. four weeks. Get ready, what guys. What do you have to do in for June? You, you know. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, you do. What are you doing for June? Oh, you're Vajazzle. Yeah, you're Vajazzle. You, you just get yourself tidied up for for June. Shouldn't you Can be I... tidied up all the time? Or if you're not a tidy, I don't tidy. I mean, no pressure to tidy. Yeah, And that mate. goes for everyone, even if you've got a, you know. Oh, what, whatever, whatever's happening down there. Vajoon is for all people. It's what inclusive. What should I get? What do you reckon I should, what I should get? Vajazzled. Yeah. yeah. Get, How do you vajazzle? Well, right? well, you get it above the yeah, you can. above the bit. Yeah. <laughs> you, could, yeah. you, you could vajazzle your gutters. Yeah. Oh, that'd be nice. <laughs> no, don't. No, don't. Yeah. That's, that's, that, no, don't. No? Okay. That could be, that could arrow, be a... What, what, did you, what did you know before anybody else? Oh, yeah. That's what we're doing now. I know. Did you I know, see, I love see that? I had to look, though, because I'm like, that's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I surprised myself. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm like, oh, no, that's the old run sheet. Ah, oh, that'd be right. <laughs> yes. And I'm surprised time. I got the words out in a row. I nearly <laughs> got, so, I got so nervous. I went, don't do it, do it, do it, no, don't, don't do it. Oh. I'm, so, I'm so glad you backed yourself. Ah, thank mm. you. Um, yeah, what did you know before everyone else? 13, 24, 10. This is great. Yeah, we were, guys, we were all over this. We had oh. a finger on the pulse. Mm-hmm. Um, people are only just learning what an echidna penis looks like after the Australian Geographic, mm-hmm. you know, mm. big guys, the heavy hitters, posted a photo of it on their Facebook page. Now, can I just go back in time? Oh. This was our reaction when, yeah. when Kate showed us the... What year was this? What this was date like was this? Either la- last year or the year before. Oh, 10th of June. 
No oh flag. Oh, my God. 2021. Typical oh. for June story. Well, these guys certainly didn't vajazzle. Put the long phallus on the screen. Oh, my God. Ah! Tree trunk. Wait, it how looks... many ends does it have? Oh, my gosh. It's like a it Simpsons like, hand. It looks like a little hand. It's four oh fingers. The hiddeners have that down there. Yeah, it's hectic. I, I don't like looking at it. Though. We've been all over this for almost twelve months. Mm-hmm. I know we've been yeah we've been covering it for a, a year. I mean, Echidnas knew it before us, so technically they knew their penises look like that. Well, you know what else is weird? They're like obviously Echidnas mm. find them attractive. Oh yeah, they do. Well, some yeah. some some other people might find them attractive as well. People. No, not when you've got the traditional options, surely. <laughs> no. I don't know. It depends but, what floats your boat. Oh, that like shouldn't... a female echidna would mm-hmm. be in, into that. Oh, yeah. But that would be normal. It wouldn't impress her. She'd be like, oh, another one. Another one. Oh, here we go. Have, is some echidna <laughs> only got like f- three bits? You know how it's no. going? Like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but he knows don't... what to do with them. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. Don't exactly. judge on the amount <laughs> yeah. of bits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Because they've got Australian Geographic, they've got 543,000 followers on Facebook, so way more than us. Um, and they were left shocked after learning about what it looks like, as we were. Um, followers were left confused, uh, with some saying they could never unsee this. I mean, oh, you're just copying out well, the Australian Geographic. Yeah. And it's it's rude. That's, you know, that's an echidna's yeah. reproductive part. But what if they read it? It's shaming. <laughs> yeah, it's it's very shaming it's behaviour. Shaming. The thing is, though, this is so this is impressive, and and I mean, I guess now the story's broken and everyone knows about it. But I know over the, the last twelve broken. months since we came across it, mm-hmm. I have on a few occasions. I don't know how it's come up in conversation. You but brought it said, out on your phone, have you? I, no, I have actually said, "Oh my god, did, have you ever seen an echidna's?" you know, lower body parts. No. Yeah. Oh, my God. You have to have a look at it. So it's it's like... Do you have it on, as a bookmark on your <laughs> no, phone? No, it's my screensaver. Yeah, <laughs> Poor Maid. She's trying to eat dinner. <laughs> yes, I know. It's like Kate hasn't been invited to a dinner party since the 10th of June, 2021. <laughs> all right, 13, 24.10, we were all over this. What did you know before everyone else? Tell us. Share it with us. As we listen to Joel Corey with David Getter and Bryson Tiller. That's right. Three-pronged attack. One prong short of an echidna penis. <laughs> what would you do? A Nova. Kate, Tim and Joel. What would you do? What would you do? Uh, it's Kate, Tim and Joel here on <laughs> Nova. Happy Monday. Hello. Hello. I was just turning the mics on gradually because Joel was pre- preoccupied. Doing what? Uh, no. Are you on your phone? He's, oh, and he's now he's pulled his cans out, and you're having a lolly. Is Jess is is Jess seriously telling me that Adelaide's thirty minutes behind as a forty year old man? Oh my God, seriously! I'm back. I'm back. By the way, sorry. <laughs> oh my God, I was a bit busy there. What's next? The Earth's not flat. Anything else you want to share with me before you go? Joel's gay. Oh, what? <laughs> Mind blown. Push your mouth out. <laughs> Kate's been fuming. (laughs) (laughs) Any other Captain Obvious remarks you'd like to share? (laughs) We're actually doing what did you know before everyone else, but we we should really do. What does everyone know? (laughs) That you keep reminding them of. Yes. um, We're back on the echidna. Dick, D-I-C-K. I know. It's crazy, Stewie. I know, because we broke this news mm. um, a year we, a year ago. We were all over it. And mm. um, and now Australian Geographic once again copying our gear. I know. Um, the posting pictures, uh, uh, Kidna DPs on their Facebook, um, and everyone's really shocked. Um, Steve said, of all the things I could see on <laughs> Facebook today, this wasn't on my bingo card. I hate that saying. I've never oh. heard it. Are you serious? No. On, your bing- on today's oh, the bingo, bingo cards. Card. It's been going for about a year and, it's, and it sucks and it hasn't really ever gone off the ground and nor should it. Yeah. Oh, this wasn't on my 2022 bingo card. Yeah. Fun. You're fun. Have you not heard that? No. And no, I was trying tr- to remember something that somebody said on the weekend that oh, I yeah. hadn't heard of. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Oh, it wow. was like a, And I said, what do you mean? And they said, oh, everybody knows that. And I thought, I think it's a basketball term. Like... Oh. It's not. Uh, we took home the chockies. No, um, not the chockey one. The um, like when something when something like turns up just when you need it, like um, like a pass that comes when you need. It. I said, well, where does that come from? They said it's from basketball. Like oh. um, oh, this has come uh, just in the nick of time. No, <laughs> <laughs> pass from behind. Oh, alley oop. No, 
What? Slam dunk. Come on, text through if you know it. <laughs> it's, it's just it's one word. Call through. Unless you're in Adelaide, because apparently you're 30 minutes behind. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but I'm going to write that down somewhere because that has blown my mind. What's That's the word? Um, um, while you're thinking of it. If you can't think oh of it, God. I need to move on. Oh, no, you need <laughs> to move on. Because, Bar- because Barb's actually just pulled over. Oh. Because obviously this is the radio, and she'd never seen her in a kid in a penis before. And Barb, what do you make of it? <laughs> well, well, well. Um, <laughs> Have you ever seen yeah. anything like it? <laughs> Had never seen anything like it. I honestly wet my pants. I was just oh. laughing. So much, mm-hmm. not quite that much, but <laughs> I just had to pull over and have a look because yeah. sorry, you didn't need that, did you? No, I love it. <laughs> we love it. I love it. We love it. If you could, um, if you could describe what it looks like, like what what would be yeah. like something similar? What would you say? Uh, um, <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, are you What's that thing that the kids spin on their fingers? A spinning top. No, fidget, oh, a fidget spinner. Fidget spinner. It's a bit, maybe a bit like that. Is that the basketball term? No. <laughs> Are you thinking of? I can't think of the basketball term. It's one word. Oh, that's a layback. No. <laughs> oh, it's going to drive wildcat. me insane. Oh, I'll go, I'll go. Sydney Kings. Shane Hill. No, it's I a word. For, I go for the Wildcats. I'm a big oh Wildcat God. supporter. Okay. No, you're not. <laughs> I am. I used to do the halftime entertainment at the Perth Wildcats oh. when I was a Casanova. What did you do? I did. I'd, I'd go out with a big giant dice and we'd roll it and then someone would have to shoot a hoop and I got to sit in the little, not the wings because I know that's not a sporting term, yeah. but I got to sit on the sidelines with all the with all the um, the cheerleaders and I'd be like, okay, Crystal, and what are you studying? And... I think cheerleaders um, for sporting teams is disgusting. Oh, my God. You're actually an idiot. You're the number one fan of that TV show, Cheer. <laughs> Obviously, I'm joking. God. God. <laughs> no one believes you. It's like, it's like, oh, the grid girls. Ugh, gross. <laughs> what oh, what about the girls? the girls at the boxing? Yeah, I was going to say, uh, what are they called? No, hold, hold, hold the ring the girls. Up. The ring, ring girls. girls. They're not called ring girls. <laughs> yeah, they are. No, they're be, not. Be they're card girls or something. Oh, yeah. Card <laughs> girls. <laughs> no. No, that's if you work for the news agency. It's very it? important. Everyone wants to keep up with which round it what is round or what, is it? What, exactly. what thing it is. I'd be a good ring girl. Shake you would bushes. be a good ring girl. <laughs> um, ben, do you have the basketball saying, do you? Yeah, I do. The word Kate looking for is clutch. That's it! Yes! And how? Ben, put, put, it in a, it. put it in a sentence, Ben, because Kate hasn't really explained why it, where it goes <laughs> in words. Oh. It's normally used towards the end of a game where someone shoots a, like a buzzer beater and they say that he was clutch. Yeah, so you got in just in the nick of time. But what if in, in your real life, like if something happens in your life, like, I don't know. Um, Here we go. Oh, Here we go. <laughs> like, use it use it in, to do with something in everyday life, how you could use a basketball term for something in everyday life. Oh, I personally wouldn't. That's lame. <laughs> Kate, Tim and Joel. Hello, hello. Thank God it's Monday. I guess so. I hope so. This is Kate, Tim and Joel on Nova. Sheep go to heaven, goats go to hell. Sheep go to heaven, goats go to hell. Do you know this from Kate? Is this Kate? I've yeah. never heard this. No, this oh, is a bit of fun. It's a great oh. song. Because goats and strings are either kind of lauded or in curries. Yeah. I love a goat Me curry. too. Yeah. Yum. That Chin Chin restaurant in Sydney and Melbourne, if you go there and you don't order the goat curry, you're well, then mad. you're a loser. <laughs> <I don't wanna laughs> um, we're playing this because I don't know if you've seen this funny little photo. I'll describe it to you. If you haven't, firefighters in England came to the rescue of five sheep that ended up, I don't really know how, stranded on a rooftop. Oh, here's how. After jumping across a gap from a neighbouring field. So I'm guessing it's in some kind of valley, or I don't know. But they're standing up there, frightened as hell, not knowing what to do. The firefighters and a member of the public made a makeshift bridge for the sheep to cross back to the field from the roof. I mean, it was all wonderful. Everyone pulled together, and the sheep are safe. Oh, nice. Nice. In a curry. <laughs> no, go curry. Okay, no, go curry. No, they are sheep. Oh, they're sheep. Oh, they, oh, they are too. <laughs> we'll give it one more. Give it one more verse. The barber can give you a haircut. The carpenter. What are Kate doing now? Can you tell us what Kate are doing? Now, where are they from? Whenever you'd like. They're at the US somewhere. Uh, they are American, aren't they? Drink me some wine. They could be Canadian, but they might be. Oh, so. I don't want to make that mistake. Here we go. Here's the I last their album. Yeah. Have a good time. CD. Oh, no. Why? 
Why didn't sheep go to heaven and goats go to hell? What have goats done wrong? They're from California and they have two shows in August. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. We should wear our short skirt and long jacket. <laughs> yeah, and a long jacket. Hey. Yeah, well done, Joe. You're Thank in your you. rock knowledge. Oh, you're big rock I pig. <laughs> <laughs> I always picked you for a Galway girl. <laughs> Remember when I thought it was washing, washing line woman or something? I don't know. It was a Joel Jarvin game. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Hey, next. Haven't done it for a while. Mailbag time. Yes. Kate, Tim and Joel. Just authentic old school Ed Galway girl here on Nova. It's Kate Tim and Joel. It's Kate Tim and Bang. Joel. Bang! We've missed you. Let's sit down and just be by their side. Listen clear to the mailbags we all like. Don't forget to send yours and hear us right. Back to Kate quickly. When I read they have two shows in August, I don't believe they have them in Australia. Is that right? One is at the Woodland Park, Woodland Zoo. Park Zoo in Seattle if you're in the area in August. Oh. <laughs> It's like when I was... That was very misleading. Yeah, yeah. They have two shows in August in America. (laughs) (laughs) Get in touch. Uh, Hit us on the socials. Uh, You can text us as well. 04800 31 KTJ. Email ktj at novafm.com.au. Bonnie has gotten in touch, Joel Creasy. Yes, Bonnie has. And look, I don't normally normally read ahead in mailbag, but I am on top. And we all notice that when that happens. (laughs) When you you don't read ahead. (laughs) <laughs> oh, I don't, John. I, no, no. Yeah, mm, it goes for both it. of you when you don't read ahead in mailbag. Oh, but I, I like to be surprised. You like to be surprised. And you often say don't read ahead. I know. It's the one segment that would be nice because they're all laid out differently because it's the general public have written in. Yes. So maybe it's like some things are a bit skewy. Okay. Sometimes yeah. I think it's nice to be across mailbag. Absolutely. And in those cases, the producers will often say, best to cast your eyes over the mailbag today. Instead, mm. in, instead of doing that, though, they waste their time chatting through, Adelaide is 30 minutes behind. <laughs> I know. And also... So it's like calling them the producers. Like, I know they are, but that was just so nice. Oh, it's weird. Such a nice way to address well, them. Well, you cause... like it because it sounds like a musical. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, Which one's and... Nathan Lane? <laughs> <laughs> that's me. Um, I'm annoyed I got this mail back, though. Oh. Um, this is from Bonnie. Uh, it's, it's, Bonnie said, I nearly choked on my coffee when I read this in the West Australian this morning. Hate to admit it, but I think Tim is right. Oh. Unfortunately, it seems to be a le- legit saying. And I'm assuming it's a little wrap-up of, um, like, you know, like the, the week in politics and the election. And there's a... a, a um, Who are uh, the West Australian backing in the election, do you think? <laughs> oh, I wonder. <laughs> um, but to be fair, they said, there's a section that said, who won the day? Oh, yeah, I and like it that. said, Albany. Easy gets the chocolates for flying to Perth after being bunkered down at home for seven days. Gets the chocolates. Who will take home the chocolates? Who's going to bring home the chocolates? Can you get me chocolates, so, um... The roosters, they hung in till the death and they got the chocolates in this one. I'm happy to never, ever do this again. I just need you both on record to say it's a saying. It's not just an Easter saying, it's just... A saying. It's a football saying, is it? Well, no, it's in the election coverage. It's not a football um, saying. Yeah, but, you know, often people will, you know, use sports. Um, it's like clutch. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's exactly. actually weird. <laughs> well, it's not my saying or word or By phrase. By the way, the thing. clutch thing is um, when something is extremely good or useful at exactly the moment it's needed. Oh. Or how Kate tried to say it for 20 minutes. Which was yeah. what? Um. Even the bloke who called him with the actual saying was like, shut up. He said it was was lame. Ben, his name was. Speaking of lame, um, the parsnip. We're moving on, yeah. The parsnip, as if. What are you doing here? Parsnip actually does need to get a grip. And also, you peel the end of it. It's like, what is it? It's hairy. Yeah, that's a pass on parsnip. I know. Great line. Great oh, line. Oh, thank you, Zing. Burn. Got your pass, Nick. <laughs> Instagram message from Chef Mel. Oh. I don't know if oh. she's a self-proclaimed chef or I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Brilliant show today. I was listening in on the parsnips mention, lol. Please tell Joel I'm his oh. partner in crime if he wants to pimp up parsnips. Lol again. So much laughing so going on. Oh, stick, to the, stick to the program, So Mel. many laughs. Here's my sexy porcini tart with parsnip 
Tangle Fries. Love the show. And there's a photograph here Ooh. that's been taken perhaps on portrait mode or something because the back... <laughs> God, you're really deep diving into it. Whoa, I didn't think you were going to go into how the photo was taken. Well, I was looking at the photo because it, I was perplexed because mm. in the background seems to be a, a, a map of some description. Let's just focus on the tart. Yeah, that's <laughs> Africa. The tart, the tart in we're the not front. Tying, we're not padding. Well, the, I know, sorry. There was like little edible flowers and a bit of a tart. Um, with the parsnip fries on there, you should try that, Joel. It does look delicious. But if you're if you're no, mate, if you're turning something into little things and deep frying it into fries, it, then the parsnip is irrelevant. I know. Now you're just eating something crunchy and little, oil, yeah. oily and salty. Yeah, yum. Yeah, exactly. But yum. Chef but it's Mel, not a if she wants, them. I'm not going to make that. <laughs> no. But if she wants to send it in, I'll eat it. Yes, you can put it send in the toast anything, and I'll warm eat up. it. Yeah. <laughs> I feel bad that I said I didn't think it looked good. It does look good. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's really mean to Chef Mel. She's probably, you know, she's no. maybe trying to get a career off the ground. I've just had two Sherbys, so I'm not hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we have them, by the way? They're not appropriate on air food. Well, you need to exercise some self control. I know it's one of your strong points. <laughs> <laughs> I did notice, though, as I opened the already opened packet, that all the Milkos had gone, Jess. Oh, are you, do you eat the Milko? Uh, Jess is turned into a bloody big Milko over there. Oh, are you guys in the, into the lollies in the Sydney studio? No. Gosh. Mm. But she's like, don't open them. And <laughs> <laughs> How does it go? <laughs> oh, oh. Maddie, Maddie please Milkos. isolate that. <laughs> no, Maddie, don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's a gift. Lena, the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> oh, mate, we are on fire today. Uh, yes. What is happening? Oh, we're so clutch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no! I know! That's the funny bit, knowing what it means and then putting it in the wrong area. Wacky! <laughs> what does that mean? Wacky. He's oh, wacky. wacky. I thought you oh, said God. lucky, like that was a new thing. What does lucky mean? Hey, lucky. Elastic band. No, no, yeah. no, no. There's no, another meaning for la- if you're a lucky. What is uh, that? Like an ass- you're oh, you're like, like, like an assistant your sloppy assistant. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, like a bloody lucky. lucky. See, yeah. no wonder but, I didn't know what it meant. But we have minders. So we don't, have... You should stop calling them lucky. I don't call you. I don't call you. I've never used the word except just then. Because so, minders makes them like cook sort of more important, much more important. Yeah, they have that's to make right. sure that we are okay. I'll put it in a sentence for you. Who's the lucky that eats all the milkos? <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's lucky. lame. That's not my lucky. She's not a lucky. <laughs> You're lucky. She's lucky to be my lucky. <laughs> So why is she leaving? Because <laughs> you are in the too hard basket. That's why. <laughs> laugh. Full circle. We've come full. Have another sip of your water because we're going to make you laugh in about one second. Okay, go. Oh, hang on. I'm menial task. Yeah, okay, thanks. A bit late, Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Whose Lucky was that? My, uh, it was my Lucky. That was yours. Needs to make it snappier. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like when we're talking about it. <laughs> Not half an hour later, like in Adelaide. <laughs> oh. oh, come on. I know, TGIM. Well, you took so long talking about portrait mode. We're running out of time. So no, I've got... don't you dare. You are, you are the Edible great... flowers and you maps are, in the background. You are the greatest waster of time on this show. <laughs> That's not true. Everyone knows it. Let's revisit your clutch conversation and, and put the clock on that, Dan. <laughs> Just in your own time, run the clock over it, then text it to me. Hey, Lena said there's no such thing as a Luke Hemsworth, according to Netflix. What? Uh, there's a show called Casual, season three, episode three, four minutes, 30 in. Have a listen to this. It's like the Hunger Games out there. Only no one looks like Liam Hemsworth. Maybe Luke Hemsworth. There's no such thing as a Luke Hemsworth. <laughs> oh, brutal. That's oh, rude. Luke. It's like they work at the, the, the bakery that I was at in Byron Bay. <laughs> two, two flat whites for Luke. Luke. And he walks up to it and they go, are you Luke? <laughs> you made that stuff up. My, my wife song. was there to ask her. Here's Becky song. Hill. Thanks, mate. Or you intro it how you would. Becky Hill. Yes. Um, that fabulous song I like. Yeah, and put the blind down. Don't forget it. It's Remember. Thanks for your mailbag. Kate, Tim and Joel. Sue us. We're having a good time in here today. Yeah, okay, so pinch me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, Living the dream. And Joel. It is Monday, TGIM. I think the three of us are unanimous on this, but we did put the poll up on our Instagram, and I'll give you those results in a matter of seconds. Okay, okay. we're talking Big about Pete Davidson. Yeah. Mm, 
from him. Um, yeah. Pete Davidson, who dates the woman that sometimes we don't talk about, but it's ridiculous we don't in these circumstances. Yes. He has a new tattoo um, mm. uh, and fans are convinced that it's dedicated to his girlfriend's children. Now, of Weird. course, we know that these children are called North Saint Chicago and Psalm. 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 Um, and I'll have some of that, thanks. Yeah, yeah. so it's K <laughs> for her, after her, and then the NSCP. It appears on his neck, and fans are speculating that the K stands for her and then all of the other kids. Now, well, hang on, we've worked out how long have they been together for? Like, and publicly together? Six weeks? Six months? Si- six months. Still six and months. And even if it's slightly more than that because it was hidden or something, it might be like... Classic celebrity hiding no, their relationship. No, yeah, well, maybe. They just need to, you know, test the waters before everybody knows about it. Yeah, yeah soft launch. Even if yes. it's soft launch. Even if it's 12 months, I still think a tattoo with somebody else's yeah. children's initials on your neck. Um, and when that child's... So, okay... People separate. That's the that's the world. Nature yeah. the world. But if that person's father or mother is still alive and in their life, mm. I think it's pretty rude. Well, especially when <laughs> this guy isn't hasn't. I don't know. Maybe he's a father figure now. I can't judge. Well, but Pete Davidson. Well, I don't know. But what, what is what is the that? role of him yeah. and I'm how important know. is he to the children? And- I'm, yeah, I'm starting to get a bit exhausted of him. Yeah, and why are they at the White House Correspondents' Dinner and other news? Like, seriously, why? I mean, I know she's a big business girl. Oh, was she? <laughs> she- <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't. Joel just don't. said the most... <laughs> don't. Well, I thought I'd heard everything when I heard today that um, for the first time in 40 years, I found out that Adelaide was half an hour behind the yeah. East Coast of yeah. Australia. Yeah. And then Jess, don't Joel worry, dropped this on you. you. I said, I like her. I think she's pretty business savvy. Whoa! <laughs> the woman that's made close to billions... Oh, billions, in- billions and billions. I don't think billions of billions. I thought Kylie was the first billionaire. No, they were. No, they were, she, over the years. They don't you have to be a billionaire don't you, to make a billion in a year? Isn't that the? Oh, rule? really? Yeah. Is that the rule? In twi- yeah. in a twelve month period, is that what that Forbes mm. list is all about? But also this one that we're talking about, the main one, the head honcho. She's the reason the whole family has money. She's the reason Kylie's got money. Oh, I thought it was oh. the other one. I thought it was the mum. It's a, it's no, she, the mum manages them, but, oh, but Kim okay. obviously had the tape. But didn't the mum release the tape? Well, Chris, yeah, absolutely. I'm desperate so, for her to manage me. Yes. Desperate. Mm, if only any it. video evidence of you existed. Um, <laughs> now, <laughs> You wouldn't work again. <laughs> hey, they've been dating for less than a year. Is this normal? Oh, that's a strange word. Because what's normal, guys? Yeah, normal's a very normal's big a word to be thrown around. Throw around online. Mm. Uh, it's just like, hey, 96% of people say no. Oh. Uh, unanimous, some would say. <laughs> big word, no. <laughs> Just don't do it. They're not your kids, Pete. Kanye will be furious. What's he? He's fuming. He's fuming. Come on, Kate, Tim, and Joel. All right, our first 10K a day in May winner. Just around the corner. Let's do this first. The glasses on screen. On screen. On screen. Quite a bit to unpack in today's world of. Glossies. Let's have a look at this. This first bit of news I saw on a Hawaii Cup this morning had a bit of a chuckle. Yeah. Oh, yes. Mm, Meghan Markle. Um, she, yeah, no, you go. It's the, the, This is the Netflix series. Mm. Yeah, she's yes. had it um, uh, cancelled. Yeah. Is this her kids' series? Yeah. Hey, and it's. Look, a duck. It's not a <laughs> duck. That's a rabbit. I think Netflix is trying to distance themselves from these guys, do you reckon? I think that. Well, they've made. They have cut quite a few productions. I think this was their first animated series or something, and yeah, it's but, one uh, of the ones that have been cut. But haven't they given them like 250 million bucks to make heaps of shows, and that was their first show that got the green light? Mm. Yes, I yeah. believe so, but they've lost it. Net- <laughs> Netflix themselves have lost a ton of subscribers lately. Yeah, but I reckon also they're on the nose. <laughs> Do you really oh. push in that point, aren't you? Well, yeah. don't you think if you've... Well, who else have they signed up for hundreds of millions of dollars? Yeah, true. And they're very de- look, they're very divisive. I guess it's, yeah. you know, they may be thinking it's a safe bet. Mm. It's not really 50-50, it's more... <laughs> well, oh, anyway. We should do a poll on our Instagram. Cause okay, let's that, do it. You know. And then it's call it... Don't use the word normal, though. No, Megan and Harry, yay or nay. Yeah, oh, yes. I love it. Do it exactly that, please, ASAP. <laughs> um, okay, uh, second glossy, what's oh. happening here? 
Oh god, Depp and Heard. And, um, Depp and Heard. Why did I say it like that? I love it though. Depp and Heard. Have you Johnny heard Depp and Heard? Amber Heard. Yes. And Amber Heard. She's ditched her PR team. Mm, yeah. Because things aren't really going too well for her this week. And last you can week. put a fork in me. I've, I've finally found my favourite Depp and Heard meme. Oh. So there's a picture of them on the red carpet together. And next to uh, Johnny Depp, it says Willy Wonka. And over Amber Heard, it says Chocolate Factory. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your PR team's oh. fault that you pooed in the bed, Amber. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think it matters which PR team you have. Oh, no, if you pooed like in the like bed, no, I'm very not, hard for them to I smooth that not over. I'm talking about any pooing in the bed. What I'm saying is it's it's a debacle. Yeah, they need Jane from Nova. She'll sort oh, it. Oh, Jane would be yes, perfect. Jane. Jane, get over there and help out Amber. Jane, put your out of office on and chuff up over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Third glossy here. What's happening in the world oh. of... Oh, who's this? Double couple. Is that you, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> looks like you well, from behind. It does. Yes. Well, I thought this would be your chance to get out all your best gobbling uh, <laughs> yeah. sound effects blackers. Yeah. Because Ellen, she has filmed her final episode of the Ellen DeGeneres show, ending a 19-year run. Pretty epic run. Mm. Pretty epic run, and I will say... For a tyrant. Yeah. Well, look, I've... <laughs> I've known, yeah, I've known like a lot of people that have worked on that show, even when I was over there, and I didn't hear great things. So, but at the same time, she was a very groundbreaking. Well, hang on, you should have called in did. for um, what did you know before everyone else earlier today? <laughs> He got your job. <laughs> I did. Because we got, got no calls for that one. I've got nothing. Uh, no, here's a little bit of her last monologue. <laughs> <laughs> when does it air? Um, good question. May 26th. 26th. In the US. Of who gives it? <laughs> but uh, well, this is what it says on my sheet. <laughs> the episode, the final episode, will air on May 26th in the US, but the series is no longer yeah, screening great. in Australia. Oh, by the way, if you're also in, interested, cake touring in August. <laughs> <laughs> But in America. <laughs> oh, See you, Ellen. The, we should be on in America, not here. I know. We've got all our, all our info. <laughs> We're so international. Oh, we really are. Any podcasters in America, email us, ktj at novafm.com.au. And finally, what's happening here? Oh, no, wow. Can't. What is this? Oh, I can't wait for this. What's happening? Well, Top Gun Maverick has been labelled by some critics as the better than the original. Oh, wow. Well, what? the long-awaited sequel was screened to 3,000 fans at Vegas last week. Ray reviewed. When does it come out here? I don't know. I have watched the trailer and seen posters. That would be good information to have. Um, or in America. When does it come out in America? <laughs> I can't wait. And what do you make of the trailer, Kate? Oh, the trailer's oh, amazing. It was hot. Oh, my, have you not seen the trailer? No, I've not. Have seen it, let's watch it in the news. It. Oh my okay. god, you should! Yeah, no, I'm busy to. listening to Michelle, and then I'll and then I'll watch. Well, of no, course. I'll put it on the ads before Michelle. Okay, deal. Good. <laughs> Kate, Tim, and Joel. Nova. Nova's 10k a day in May. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. A guaranteed 10k winner. Are you serious? Every weekday. Yeah, get on the air to get in the draw. You can register by the Nova Player app as well. It's May 2. We're giving away over $200,000. Let's make the first call. Sounds international. Hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I don't think it is. Julie? Hello. Yes. Hmm, what you up to? I'm waiting for you guys to call me. Yes! Oh, yes! oh my God! Oh, correct answer! <laughs> oh my goodness! Julie, 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 10K a day oh. in May. It's kicked off with you. Woohoo! Oh, Julie. Oh, I mean, what have you been up to today? Have you just been sitting around waiting for the phone to ring? Absolutely. It's absolutely my hand. <laughs> <gasps> Oh, been in, it's actually been in her hand. Oh, it's, it's surgically attached like Joel and Kate's phone is. Oh, <laughs> but. <laughs> Carry on. What are you going to spend the 10K on, Julie? Well, I was thinking maybe a little bit of a family holiday. 
and nice. um, Backyard renovations that we started. Oh, well, we've got Shane and Blazer's number, so if you want a fire pit in the corrugated island, oh, oh, <laughs> corrugated island. Yeah, what are they called? What's what that see through corrugated island up. thing? Oh, yeah. So you can see through it, but it's still corrugated plastic. Yeah, and all the leaves. <laughs> pool on there. Hey, that's for you and Shana to work out, though. You have a great time. Hey, Julie, before we go, though, Joel's got a great stat about 10K a day, mate. Oh, and yeah. And you have just kind of clarified that stat for us. Yeah, Julie, um, last year all our winners in 10K a day in May were wi- were women, I believe. Every there might have been one man. Oh, now I'm nervous on the stat. Bruce McAvaney's oh, arrived. Right. Yeah. Now I'm stuttering on the stat. I know, you should oh. really check that stuff before Is you start correct? throwing it around. Oh, getting thumbs up. Yes, it was correct. So we've got another lady. <laughs> correct, Julie. Go, go the girls. Woo! Well done. We'll do it again tomorrow. If you want to get on Nova, then get on Nova. Get in the draw. On air, anytime, or register by the Nova player. It's that easy. Come on, blokes. Come on, come just on, come fellas. on, come on, fellas. Couple of fellas. Couple of fellas. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like on the fruit or <laughs> Kate, Tim, and Joel. So good. A thousand miles for Kid Leroy. I wonder if he's going to make a surprise appearance with Biebs. Mm. Oh. oh, on his Ooh. tour at the end yeah. of the year. Yeah. yeah. I'm so pumped for that. So pumped. Yeah. Me too. I cannot wait. I'm also pumped for my 26. Is that the cake tour? <laughs> uh, no, no, that's, that's in America. The, um, um, what was that? Top Gun oh. Maverick. We're just watching it um, in the ads there. We had to pause oh. it. And I don't care what anyone says, but take a hike if you don't like Tom Cruise. I know. Uh, he oh, just, really? I love the way they oh do this God, trailer. Yes. Like you don't get to see him for the first like 25 seconds and you go like, come on, come yeah, on. Yeah. Where is he? Where is he? Ah. Yes. He is. He's one of the ears of the best. Oh, uh, see, I'm not a huge Tom Cruise fan, but I don't mind his films. That's okay. Oh, and well, to- no, because he's a great actor. Yeah, he's a yeah great I like actor. his acting. I he like does his acting. Very well. And even in like when Collateral with Jamie Foxx, remember when he played the bad guy, like the hitman? My God. Oh, my Such gosh. Such a good performance. Well, Jer- what about Jerry Maguire? Oh, Jer- yeah, maybe I haven't seen enough Tom Cruise films. I like those other ones that he does. What? Uh, oh, the I'm Mission Impossible ones. Yeah, I, I haven't like seen Impossible. any of them. They are brilliant. Are you serious? I you should watch seen... some in preparation. They're amazing. They're amazing. Well, I think as far as preparation <laughs> goes, Joel needs to see Top Gun, the original, before. I know, I haven't I mean, seen... Yeah. Have you seen that awful comparison? So sexy. About the actors in Tom, uh, in Tom Gun, in Top Gun, yeah. about how Tom Cruise looks exactly the same. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and then they're very unkind about the woman. Oh, and really? And that's very... Um, so Tom has an age. Maybe there's something to be said for Scientology. Yeah, like the, he's a little... Oh, well, that's true. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm absolutely kidding. I'm not part of this conversation. There, there you go. I'm not going to say oh. what it is, but that's one of the memes going around. 1986 oh, to 2018. Nasty. 1986, a long time ago. Yeah. Very <laughs> long, long time take. ago. <laughs> yeah, look at you. <laughs> a long time I'm on ago. fire today. Yep. That mm-hmm. woman we don't talk about is great at business. Adelaide's <laughs> half an hour behind, and 1986 was a long time ago. <laughs> Welcome to Nova, oh. where you learn heaps. <laughs> <laughs> um, Savage Sales. Let's do this. Oh, oh this is okay. good. What did you do with their stuff? Oh, that's right. Okay. 13, 24, 10. What did you do with their stuff? Savage. I stand with you on a Sales. Oh, fun. This is good. Yeah. Savage sales. And, you know, some things are sold savagely after a, relationship's, a, a relationship breaks down. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Like maybe you want to get rid of all your sun tough, clear, corrugated polycarbonate roofing sheet mm. that Shana Blaze loves putting over fire pits. Yeah, so you, can, it. so you can enjoy it outside, even if it's raining. <laughs> oh, it's really came noisy. to mind, did it? Um, yeah, I never know what to call that stuff. Yeah, I know. It's wordy. <laughs> well, now I know. It's it's sun tough, clear, corrugated, polycarbonate roofing sheet. Yeah, it rolls off the tongue. Yeah. Polycarbonate. Okay. No, I'll there remember more that words than that. Time. Yeah, there were loads. <laughs> yeah. Um, this guy, this guy, a jilted fiancé, has, has got real savage. Uh, he has put his ex fiance's wedding dress, because mm-hmm. they were planning the wedding and it all turned 
up mm. um, for sale on Facebook Marketplace. Oh, don't do it. We're only oh, talking about that, that last back. week. Like his favourite um, place. Oh, God. For five pounds. So obviously it didn't mean much to him. This is under ten bucks then, mm. the equivalent. Um, now the man explained. Oh my God. Yeah, how he had dodged a bullet after presumably catching his partner <laughs> cheating. Let's not read it out, oh, but he's got. On. I'll do a it's bit fun. of it. I've, you have to do the wedding yes, dress. S- absolutely. What the size is. The size is, but some of it's really oh, hard. Okay, read, read, out and that abusive. read the headline for the Facebook Marketplace. Wedding dress. Size fat, <laughs> five pounds. <laughs> he he also tough. added to that to make matters worse. He 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 explains would fit a larger lady, quite chavvy. Yeah. Oh, what a tool! He also obviously I don't know something's happened. He's accusing her of something that she can't defend. He's fuming, but, but he he's is fuming. fuming because maybe she has cheated, and then he's called her every name under the sun. Yeah. Um, being highly disrespectful, but, um, you know, two wrongs don't make a right. Yeah, it takes two to tango. What about the end bit, though? I won't read. I don't want to ruin your story, but it, it's a size 12, I think. She was prone to lying, so it's maybe a 14 or 16. <laughs> <laughs> what did she do? Or maybe she didn't do anything. Maybe she ate all his milk chews. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to handle this delicately, and you've just come right in. I know, like a rocking I don't, I don't ball. want you to gloss over stuff. I know. But I'm, you know. But do we know she did something? I don't want to fat shame by telling the story. No, 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 No. I know. But he has, and you know what? He's really, he's he has gone really hard on her. Oh, he's cranky because he wants her to see it, and he's. He's called a fat. He's selling the wedding dress for far less than it's actually worth. I bet you, though, being on Facebook Marketplace, though, someone he's selling it for five pounds. Someone will go, I'll give you one pound and I'll be over oh. at 10, 10 o'clock tonight. I know. Yeah, I know. I know. And why, I know. Did, why does he have the dress? Wouldn't the bride have the dress? Maybe he kicked her out. I'm making all of this up. Yeah, so the dress has, has been in a box there and she hasn't come around to get it yet, so it's being sold. It's yeah. a savage sale. We've got some grabs. This is an English story. I believe these hooligans were singing Savage Garden. <laughs> According to Dan. Yeah. I'll be your dream, I'll be your wish, I'll be your fantasy. I'll be your hope, I'll be your love, be everything that you need. I love you more with every breath, truly, madly, deeply do. I will be strong, I will be faithful, cause I'm counting on a new beginning. Who's this? This is Hooligan Sing Savage Garden. So oh. I just trust Dan implicitly and play it. They actually sound great. I know. I want to be amongst them singing. singing. Oh, yeah, singing. Sing. Yeah. <laughs> Wearing a wedding dress. Yeah, <laughs> Sing amongst a, a group of hooligans. In size. Fabulous. Kate, <laughs> <laughs> Tim and Joel. Thank God it's Monday. Boom. Yes. Kate, Tim and Joel. Feels good. Yeah. Feels right. Cover me in sunshine. Oh, yeah. It's Prince, who has unfortunately passed. Mm. This other person. Well, they did pass. They did pass. But, and then, but they're back. Okay, right. Oh. Yeah. Um, it's a bloke named Jesse Catch. What a catch. Ooh, what a catch. Um, he claims he died for three minutes. Um, but lucky for us, shared what the experience was like. Have a listen. A few years ago, I died for three straight minutes. So the first thing to know about death is that it's extremely peaceful and comforting. So there's no reason to be afraid of death. Imagine you're falling back from a window very, very slowly, like you're seeping in molasses. And breaking your fall at every inch is a billowing blanket of warmth. Okay, that guy's full of it, I reckon. I haven't I died. No. But... I guess, I guess Depends it, how you die, I guess, doesn't it? Well, mm. yeah. I don't think I'm that afraid of death. I say that to people all the time and they're like, what? I'm more scared um, of other Because you've already stuff. done it all, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, obviously don't want to. Don't, like, no. you know, shoot me on my way home or something. <laughs> <laughs> you said it was fine. Uh, yeah. I heard the podcast. Your words. <laughs> Kate, Tim and Joel. Yay. They ran on Adele special last night, I saw, but I don't know if it, it wasn't. What do you mean? They ran a, one night with Adele or something on Channel 7 last night. Not a repeat of the um the Potentially. Concert, potentially. The, the I just saw it come up on my screen. I didn't see the show. I just uh, saw it on, uh, you know, you scroll through the TV guide. Yeah. Mm. And you probably started scrolling faster after that. Yeah, it was the thing that was on next. I was like, oh, yeah. still talking about that, are we? <laughs>
Why are you still talking about Adele? Like no, it was no, like no, a no, huge no, I know. Thing. No, 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 I mean I'm not. That, as in Adele, I mean, like, still talking about one night with Adele. Yeah, no, I know. I was just it wondering was how you scrolled gig. through it. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it looked oh, beautiful, you... beautifully produced. Oh, oh I mean, oh, yeah. oh. that stage oh. management. Oh, <laughs> stage management. Hey, um, quick question. <laughs> quick question. Mm. Okay. I saw, I saw a stat from Vice today. Um, Vice Magazine, which is now more than a magazine. It's a TV channel. It's an Instagram page. Oh, what is it? Oh, I've never heard of it. Vice yeah. was very cool and underground. Oh, well, that's <laughs> why I'm across it completely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe Griggs doesn't do anything on it. <laughs> you know, like Better Homes and Gardens. And would that prick my um, interest? Uh, it would prick your interest. Yeah, you like Better Homes and Gardens on a Friday night at home. I didn't watch it this way. No, Everyone accused me of watching it this week because I made a I made an upside down plum cake on oh Saturday, my God, that and they said so good. I thought, you, why don't you bring any of that in? Oh, why, it why doesn't last. It wouldn't last, and the, and you need to serve it hot with like cream or something. Oh, that yeah. looked amazing. It was actually delicious. Mm. But anyway, mm. Vice. Yeah, Vice. <laughs> yeah, um, well, they've been around for ages. Okay, they were. They used to be an actual magazine. I want to know there how long till it dried. Right up for you in your relationship because it, it, it'll make sense. 30, 24, 10. How long until it just really just went from ooh, ooh to ooh, and then no more? No more. As in what? no more like nookie nookie. Yes, yeah, sessions. Because a survey conducted by researchers at the London School of Hygiene and Medicine, because that's oh. how you say it, by the way, medicine, have found that married and cohabitating couples, how's this, are having less sessions than a decade ago and then that. Of all time, sessions with couples are at an all-time low. Since sessions began. Now, clearly, you don't have to be Albert Einstein like we all are around here to know it's obviously it's phones and it's and if you want, you can get your gratification, like people get gratification on your phones and there's OnlyFans and there's so many ways yeah. without human contact to get your rocks off. Yeah. And the global pandemic kind of turns you off like when you're living with the same person all the time. The research found that a lot of people in relationships have sessions less frequency after the first six months they're together. So maybe it's all hot and heavy and then yeah, all of a sudden there's a rook. That's the valid. honeymoon period. Yeah. Yes. The study also concluded that it's normal for sexual tension to fade away. In inverted commas. What, because you know the tension goes because it's on tap or something? I love it how you're all just rewording each dot point. It's very fun. <laughs> no, it's, you know, it's so, so we you know that we're... Own words. It's sometimes, <laughs> like that. We don't listen sometimes, do we, Joel? So we're no. just proving that we are. Yeah, we're here. The study said... I love it how every dot point starts with the study as well. Like, I'm, I'm not just talking about it on the radio. The no. study said... You know the study I talked about at the start? Oh, oh the study from the London yeah, School yeah, of Hygiene yeah, and yeah, Medicine. Just in case you forgot two mm. dot points in. Yeah. Uh, the study said that you can't determine the quality of a relationship entirely based on the amount. Okay, great. Um, when did it dry up? Sexual tension. I, so do you feel like when you go home to Mon, do you feel like tense? Oh, my God. <laughs> wow, are you really doing this? Clothes are off, you know. Well, you know what I mean? Like, you're like, oh, you're like, oh, can't wait to get the kids to bed. Like, surely sexual tension leaves every relationship. Of course it does. I don't go home and feel tense <laughs> around Jack. <laughs> no. I'm not like, oh, when's he going to make the move? <laughs> <laughs> I cleaned up the bench top so he can yeah. throw me on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that wouldn't be good for my back. I've got scoliosis. Oh, you could put something down. You put you something have to have your shark, down. You'd have to have your Shaquille O'Neal mat on top of you. Oh, my Shakti mat. Imagine having a session on a Shakti mat. That'd be it's, it's true. The, 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 the earth is flat. Shaq, what are you talking about? <laughs> the earth is flat. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it is. It was good. It was good the second time, too. Yeah, it's better the second time. I actually yep. practiced it. Yep. Imagine Joel having a session on Shaq. <laughs> He is your Shakti man. He is my Shakti man. Wow, hey, you wouldn't, yeah. Ooh. You wouldn't what? Like... You'd learn a lot about business. <laughs> he has a lot of businesses. He has a lot of business. He's doing a talk on business out here, isn't he? Can I just throw out to our listeners? You know, if you get on air, you can win 10K every day. Why and no they... one's calling for anything. Hey, that's your loss, guys. Yeah. Someone from the app will win it again. <laughs> oh. Tim and Joel. Oh, I wasn't. No, I wasn't sure what to do there because we haven't had a three-minute fifty song in Yonks. No, I know. I walked the hallways, chatted. Oh, There's a dog really running are. up and down the hallway. Were I'm like hobnobbing. I was hobnobbing. What? Is there a dog in here? Yeah, there's, there's a dog in the building. Dog in here. Oh dog yes, in I saw the dog. Gosh, everyone loves bringing their dogs in. <clears throat> it is cool though, isn't it, for morale? No one brings dogs into the Melbourne office. Really? Yeah, we will. Because they would get bored. Mm. 
Oh, you got me. You got me. <laughs> you are on fire. It's, know, like right? a, it's like we're like being roasted on Comedy Central. Yeah. Joan <laughs> Rivers, Tim and Joel. Yes. <laughs> Round. <know. Rawr. laughs> yeah. What did you say before? Something about Scratchy Cat? Yeah, because you're in one of your Wisconsin mean? hoodies. Scratchy and I cat. haven't said that yet. That's for tomorrow. Wisconsin. <laughs> oh, I know what you mean. Yeah. Uh, the, the college joke. The yeah, college girl. You, you, dress, you, you are dressed like a, um, a college girl a lot of the time. Hi, my name is Eva. I'm going to University of Oklahoma. <laughs> Boom soon, baby. Boom soon. Hi, my name is Colin LeCabner. I'm going to Texas Christian University. Go Frogs. I'm not going to Texas Christian University. Hi, my name's Taylor, and I'm going to Mizzou. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. My name's Catherine Murphy. I'm going to Oklahoma Boom soon. Hi, Boom soon. Can you do one, Kate? No. I'm going to start wearing the little <laughs> cheerleading skirts. Oh, yes. Oh. High tops. You should. You should. Yes. My sketches. Oh, Ooh. that's fun. We should get the ones with the wheels in the soles. Oh, and I <laughs> the could wheelies. Z- zoom up and down the hallway in the three minute 50 songs. Zoom or sooner. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, um, best TV finale ever. Huge question with two minutes left on the show. Okay. But it's a big question, and we'd like to answer it now. 13 at 24 10. Yeah. The best TV finale ever. Mm, obviously not um, Game of Thrones. Uh, no. This, we're asking this because Kylie Minogue, she has confirmed she'll be starring in the final episode of Neighbours. Yeah, huge. Post- yeah, that's huge. Wow. And I'm glad it's happened. And I loved her post. Makes sense. I thought her post was very classy. And well, everything she does is classy. Well, everything, um, yeah. Yeah, she and Jason Donovan um, shared the same script to their Instagram accounts, alluding to their return to the final episodes. Mm -hmm. Scott and Charlene, they're back after 30 years away from the set, and the final episode is set to air in the UK and Australia on August 1st. Do you reckon that's still true, or is there going to be some, like, 11th hour reprieve? I don't think so. Okay. Thanks. I don't know. (laughs) Try to make everybody feel a little bit yeah. better that lost Thanks all their time. No, away. no, no, no. <laughs> home and away have loved this. Have you, camp oh, home and away are I know. loving this. They Look would how not. She went in there. I don't think so. No, what I'm saying <laughs> no. is don't get, don't get people's hopes up. <laughs> no, it's very true. I th- and it's very sad. That lowered voice was, I, I feel really feel really sad. Home yeah. and away is not happy about this. And I think we know by now if someone's Why are you crossing your fingers? In. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> No I think they would. That. I think I think the stream. One of the streaming giants would have done so by now. But also, Jason Donovan's daughter Gemma is on the show at the mm. moment. I, I had the delight oh. of working with her. Yeah, right. yeah. She plays Harlow. Does she? Mm, she oh. worked with me at Lasseter's Hotel. Doing. We worked at Lasseter's Hotel. It's a hotel. So what oh, ho- sorry. What, ho- job at the hotel. what hotel staff do? They oh, make beds. My God, there's so many different. Well, I was the receptionist. There's so many different jobs in a hotel. Well, oh she was h- she was higher oh, sorry, up. So Crown Casino is on the line. They're just going to tell us about the forty eight thousand <laughs> different things they're staffed. Okay, there. it's not. It's it's a hotel in Erinsborough, a fictional town. Oh, hi, James it's not Parker. a Crown you, Casino. You make the beds that, too, do you? That's weird. Fictional. Yes, Erinsborough is fictional. Ramsey Street is fictional. Don't don't make up for the the home and away pity party. I know. <laughs> I'm not on home I've, and away anymore. No, but you're in the club. I know. I'm, I'm in the club. You're in the Home and Away club. Yeah, and show, us, knows it. show us the Home and Away WhatsApp messages right now. I bet they're just oh, yeah. so... They're party, party. Woo! Lots of like... the Picture of yeah. the cry, crying with a lull next to I it. <laughs> God, you guys are so mean. We mean, would never bitchy. speak that way about the Neighbours cast and crew. Yeah. yeah all right. Ever. Yeah. Even if you did want to beat them at the Logies. I bet you the Home and Away WhatsApp group would be called The Diner, wouldn't it? Because that's where everyone catches the up. The Diner, yeah. <laughs> the Diner. And they'd be posting a big picture of Rebecca Emma Logley with a cross through her face. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Traitor. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't serve this woman. Oh, <laughs> I don't think it's called The Diner anymore. Anyway, did... Uh, yeah. What, the WhatsApp group? No. <laughs> Interesting. Show a little bit of true colours there. <laughs> the Bayside Diner to you. Oh, that's a bit wordy. <laughs> I like things quick on the internet. Hey, Todd. Hey, guys. Hi. Um, hey, the hi, best hi. TV finale ever, and I didn't realise you were 150 with this answer. <laughs> no, I can't believe this. <laughs> uh, obviously, MASH, best okay. finale ever. Thanks for your call, mate. Uh, two GPs downstairs. Kathleen. <laughs> hey, Kathleen. Catherine. Okay, hi. Catherine. Catherine. Sure, Catherine. I'm busy. I'm busy. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry I got Catherine. Really angry there. Hi. Hi. Um, the best finale I think was the good place. Sorry, it's not. What's the no, good what place? Is the good part? No, what is it? What is it? Um, it's a Netflix show. It's got Kristen Bell. It's about oh, the Kristen afterlife. Bell. And, you know, mm. it just wraps up beautifully. The best ever. 
Best ever TV finale. I know the people that place. love The I Good mean... Place love The Good Place. Okay, Donna. <laughs> Another great film. <laughs> oh, I'm on. Oh, special comments from Joel down there. Thanks very much. More of that tomorrow from three. Um, Donna? The best finale was Shit's Creek. Oh, keep, I, it, keep, keep it clean, Donna. I will give you that, Donna. <laughs> the finale is pretty spectacular. What about um, Breaking Bad and Mad Men? And yeah. The Sopranos. Okay, they're dramas. If you're talking comedies, the Shit's Creek not, finale. We're not. Best TV it's... finale ever. Okay, well then I'm backing in Shit's Creek. Donna's answer over okay, whatever you just clean, mentioned. Keep it clean, mate. Keep it clean. We can't wait to see Kylie, though. On the... When is the last episode airing? August 1. August 1. Yes. Oh, yeah, they've got a party. Uh, the Home and Away crew have oh, got a party. Big party <laughs> at your place. <laughs> BYO, obviously. <laughs> Don't make a right. Yeah, it takes two to tango. Kate, Tim and Joel is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.